Starbucks is going to get better for you today. Can I please have a venti paradise drink? Paradise drink, sure. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Here Thank you. Are. Thanks. Hello everyone, Kiki here. Welcome back to my channel. We're back. It's been a minute. I realize it's been a few months since I actually did a good little vloggy vlog, having some fun. If you follow me on Instagram, I have been traveling a lot. I've barely been home. Um, and I have severely fell off of my routine. Like I got back into meal prepping, which helps me so much with just like staying on track and eating a balanced diet instead of ordering Uber Eats twice a day because I don't really like to cook. That's the thing. I realize cooking is just not something I love. I don't want to say I hate it. I just don't love it. So just getting it all over with at the beginning of the week and just having meals prepped is just a lifesaver for me. It saves me time, saves me stress, and it saves me money. But I'm finally just back home and I don't have any plans coming up. So I really want to get back into my routine of meal prepping, just being prepared for the week, getting back into a consistent workout routine and all that good stuff. And then I need to get back to YouTube, right? If you guys don't know, it is hard as a content creator to be active on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. I try, I try my best. On TikTok, I just post a lot of fun. Like my personality really comes out over there and I just have fun with it. Most of my like fitnessy workout stuff is on Instagram and I don't know, YouTube, I'm still always trying to figure out what you guys want. I've been doing this for years. I still don't know what everyone really likes or wants. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show up and do me and hopefully you guys like it. But today, Abby, we're at Trader Joe's. I know a lot of you guys say you don't have Trader Joe's at home, but like I usually just get the basics from here. Life update. I started eating a little bit of meat again. So it's been, I wanna say like six years since I've eaten meat. Basically I was full vegetarian for like three years and then I got to a point where I just was not enjoying myself and I wasn't enjoying my food anymore and I didn't wanna force myself to restrict. So I started eating seafood. So the past like three years or so, I've been a pescatarian. So it's been about six or seven years since I really consistently started eating meat. When I say eat meat, I eat chicken now. I think I'll start eating turkey too. Just the, the red meats, like steak and pork chops, that, I don't, for some reason my whole life, has always kind of grossed me out. So I'm just at a point where I'm just, I'm not restricting myself. I'm kind of just listening to my body. I'm gonna eat what I want. For some reason, out of nowhere, I just started craving chicken again. And it didn't help that one day I ordered a Cajun fish sandwich from Popeyes and they accidentally gave me a chicken sandwich. And when I tell you I was devouring it and I didn't realize until halfway through that this was tasting kind of chickeny. That was a time. So I was just like, you know what? I was hesitant to start eating meat again because it really wasn't me. I was just nervous of what everyone else was going to think, honestly, which I normally don't care. But like, I remember when I first went vegetarian, people were like, oh, it's, you're not gonna, it's not gonna last. You're just doing it just because. But meanwhile, like I did it for most of my 20s. So new phase of life. I'm just doing what feels good. I'm gonna be prepping some type of chicken dish this week. It has been a hot minute since I've cooked chicken. So that's gonna be an adventure today. And I think I'm gonna do like a, some type of seafood chipotle type bowl. So I'm gonna pick up those ingredients from Trader Joe's and we're gonna go home and cook. First of all, get into this purse. This is not a shopping bag. This is a full on fashion moment. You guys didn't know I live in New Jersey and New Jersey was like, all right, we're done with the plastic bags. You're on your own. And we were just like, okay, listen, it's for the environment. I'm all about it, but obsessed with this bag, but I'm going to go shopping now. I probably won't be able to show you guys a whole lot because Trader Joe's is not like recording. I don't think. But anyways, let's go to Trader Joe's. We're going to shop. We're going to cook. Ooh, ooh, shoulder. Baby, 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 baby,
right, so that was actually pretty quick. I was in and out in like 15 minutes. I got what I needed for my shrimp chipotle bowl, which has always been one of my favorite meal preps. Anything like a little taco bowl is just, it hits the spot. And then I'm gonna make some like honey barbecue chicken with mashed potatoes. So my favorite milk is actually not sold here at Trader Joe's. So I might have to go pop into Target. But that's it, I got what I needed and I'm off. Let's go. Hi, bullfish. I'm home. You been good? You ready to watch me cook? All right, so we're back at home. I'll show you guys really quick what I got. I did pop into another store really quick to get some milk for the potatoes, but <laughs> this has nothing to do with my meal prep, but I just got these little cups of ice cream. I don't know why, I just thought they were cute. I don't love ice cream, but every once in a while, I like to dabble. I got oat milk. I didn't really want oat or almond or cashew. I just wanted like the ripple pea milk, but they didn't have it. Cause that one doesn't really have a taste. And I don't know how I feel about oaty potatoes, but it's above me. Got some tomatoes. The Argentinian red shrimp from Trader Joe's is my absolute favorite. They're so good. I'll be making a little fruit salad prep as well. So I got some mangoes. I have kiwi at home that I need to use. A huge thing of strawberries, which I usually don't get this big one, but that's all they had. So I'm gonna be having a strawberry week. I got some of these maple chicken breakfast sausages. Never had them, but we'll see. I just got some, I guess, regular chicken breast. I'm gonna have this vegetable mix with the chicken. And this is broccoli, peas, green beans, and zucchini. Corn, gluten-free bagel, some black beans, some gold potatoes, as well as this smoky barbecue coconut aminos that I'll be adding to the chicken. And that is it. When it comes to meal prep, I have done it for so many years, so it's just kind of easy for me. So I'll be multitasking. Don't get overwhelmed. We all start somewhere. I'm gonna time myself to see how long this takes, but it shouldn't take more than like two hours. Let's get started.
this is what we got here. I just made some shrimp, corn, and black beans. Throughout the week, I might just add in tomato or throw some um, cheeses on top of this just to spice it up. If I have any taco seasoning or like salsa, I'll throw that on here too. This is honey barbecue chicken with these assorted veggies and some mashed potato. Boiled eggs, I usually just like to boil them to keep them on hand. This can either be a snack or my breakfast. So this will be a part of my breakfast and I'll just accompany it with maybe like a protein shake or a bagel, a waffle, a bowl of cereal, anything. It just helps so much that this is already prepped and ready to go. So breakfast is quick and easy. And then I have these fruit jars here just as a snack, just to have my fruit already cut up and prepped. Sometimes I'm in the mood for fruit and I just don't feel like cutting it up. So just having it already in a jar is just perfect. And these are mason jars that I got from Target. I'll just close all of these up so it stays nice and fresh. And yeah, I used to prep for the full week, but that's not really necessary this week because I'm gonna be going out and about a couple days a week. So, so even just having six meals here that I can spread out through the week, it helps so much. But of course you can tailor this to your own goals for the week. You can cook this every single day throughout the week or not. People also always ask me if I get sick of this because they just, they're sick of their food by the end of the week. And for me, I've never meal prepped food that I didn't like. Like by the end of the week, I will not be tired of a Chipotle bowl. So that's a huge factor. A lot of people think meal prep has to be boring and plain with no seasoning. Uh, that's not the case. Cook what you like and that should really help with not getting tired of food the next day. But that's my prep. First time I prepped in probably like three months. I think it went well. It took a little under two hours and that's it. But I think that's it for my meal prep video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I wanna post these more often. But that's all I got for you today. If you are not already, please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for some more fun on the daily. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.